Hello and welcome to this tutorial where we will be developing a minimalist to-do list web app step-by-step -step using the new Singulair ABP startup template. So let's get to it. So let's take a look at the final result of what we'll be building in this tutorial. It'll look just like this. For example, say buy milk. And let's also say finish the laundry. And for the sake of the example, let's add one more. We'll say buy meat, for example. And we can also remove them, of course. So let's start. So the first thing we're going to do is go to a terminal. We need to upgrade the ABP CLI to 5.1.2. We'll do it using this command. So open the terminal and paste in this command. And as you can see, it happened successfully. Next, we'll create a new project, but first we need to navigate to the projects file. So I'm going to navigate to it right now. Let's make a directory and call it Okay, let's navigate to this directory. And now let's paste in this command. Now that our project is ready, let's open it with your favorite IDE. You can of course use Visual Studio for this, but I will be using Writer in this tutorial. If you've used the ABP framework before, You'll know that in order to create the database, you'll need to run the DB Migrator project. But right here, we do not have a DB Migrator project because we're using a minimal startup template. And so we'll have to do it manually using the terminal. We'll have to use this command in order to create the database. So we'll have to navigate to the name of the project first and then paste the command. Okay, since I prepared before for this video, I have the same database with the same name. So I'll have to change this. We can take a look at the app settings.json and right here, the database name, we'll just put, for example, number seven here or something, whatever it is, it's not a problem. Now go back to the terminal and paste in the same command. All right, perfect. Now, since we created the database, we can run the project and see it come alive. And here we go. As you can see, it's different from the usual ABP framework startup page, right? Because this one is a minimalist single layer application startup template for the ABP framework. It's of course different than the whole layers together. And now let's continue with the next steps. Now, the first thing we'll do is we're going to copy this little piece of code and we'll go to writer. We'll create a new directory or folder right here and we're going to call it entities, right? And inside of it, we'll add a new class. What's it going to be called? The same as this one, to do item, right? Of course, to do item. Now we're going to control all of this and we're going to paste the, this little piece of code as it is right here. Now the first step is out of the way. And of course, we don't have a domain layer. It's a single layer right now. Now the next step. Let's copy the DB set line from here and go to writer, go to data right here to do app DB context. And we'll have to just add it right here. Now the first part of the second step is over. Let's move on to this one. We'll only copy the builder part right here. If you can see, we'll copy this and then we'll go to the same on model creating method right here and at the bottom of it just right here we'll add the builder and I suppose by this the db context is over with 
let's code the first migration. We'll copy this migration code and we'll go to the terminal and we will stay in the same spot. We're just gonna paste it right here. Oh, okay, 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 sure. Because the project is still running, so we'll stop, stop, stop. Stop running, please. And let's try it again. Yeah, perfect. Now the migration is over. This migration part is over. Now let's move on to the next command, which is going to be the database update. Yeah, perfect. Next, let's move on to the next step. Oh, the interface. And I suppose we don't have an interface right here. We'll have to just ignore this part, this whole part, because we're here talking about the single layer app, not the whole thing. The data transfer object. So we're going to copy this little piece of code. We'll go to writer. We'll add a new directory right here. We're going to call it services. And then we're going to add a, another one right here called DTO, data transfer object, just like it's right here. Okay, and then we're going to add a new class right here called the same as right here, to do item DTO. Perfect. Now we're just going to control A and paste it right here. Now we'll have to copy this piece of code and we'll have to go to Rider and we'll have to create a class right here in the services. The name of the class is going to be the same as this one, to do app service. Now, control A and paste it. And of course, we're going to remove the interface since we don't have an interface right here. And of course, for the methods, we'll have to copy these ones and put them right here. This is the first one. And that was the getting to do items. And next, we'll do a creating a new to do item. Next, deleting a to do item. Now let's check out the interface. Let's check the index.cshtml.c sharp. Let's copy this one. Go to Writer, go to Pages, index.cshtml.c sharp. We'll paste it right here, right? We're just going to have to change the name of this one into ABP Page Model, just like this one. And it's going to add this using statement. And for this one, we're just going to keep the class, not the interface. Simple as that. No more errors. Now let's move on to the next step, which is the index.cshtml. Now, we're not going to copy this, and we're not going to copy this, because I'm going to need you to leave this alone. All of these, do not touch them. Do not touch the using statements, do not touch the localization, and do not touch the sections. All right, Keep them as is. We're just going to copy this part from here, just only the divs, all right? We're only going to copy the divs, and we're going to paste this right here. And there it goes. And also for this folder, we're just going to rename it real quick because it couldn't overwrite before because I forgot to add the S. So it's better to just keep the template as is. All right, then we can move to the JavaScript file. We're just going to copy this one right here. And then we're going to create it from here. It should be here added by default, but I can't find it. So I suppose we'll just create our own, right? And I'm just going to copy this one just for it like here. Oh, no. index.cshtml dot javascript 
and we're just going to paste it right here. And last but not least, the CSS file. We'll just copy this one. We'll find the CSS file, and we're just going to paste it right here, right? And before we run it, we have a little warning right here, which is the namespace. So it does not correspond to file location. It should be to do app.pages. Why is that? Because if we take a look at the index.cshtml, it's to do app.pages, right? And right here, it needs to be the same thing. So I'm just going to find the lamp icon this way and just going to adjust the namespace in folder. I suppose it should be running well like this. Now let's take a look. And I suppose it's working just fine. Let's see. By milk. Do the laundry. And clean your room, for example. Can we remove those? Yes, we can remove those. And that's how you develop a minimalist to-do list app with the AVP framework. And see you in the next video.